The largest and oldest pyramid on the planet, the Great Pyramid of China, the White Pyramid, and around there they found the dropper stones and even ancient copper tubes and very strange standing stones. No one knows what exactly these things are. As we know, they're in China and very little is said concerning these pyramids. The fact that the White Pyramid was discovered by chance in 1947 and now we have google earth of course and satellite images show us exactly what could be found there so the largest pyramid on the planet is believed to be this the story behind the great pyramid of china is beyond fascinating for years the government has not allowed proper studies to be performed on the numerous pyramids near the city of xi'an Excursions that managed to sneak into the area where the pyramids are discovered. Numerous anomalies like metallic material which could not be identified by researchers. The pyramids are believed to be over 8,000 years old. Could it be that these are again monolithic structures from the time of the Ice Age and the pre-flood construction? As we know, most people say that even the lost continent of Atlantis sank around 9,650 BC. That's uh, 11,700 years ago. It's around the time of the Younger Dryas event, the comet impact. Now, are the pyramids of China among the largest on the planet? According to many, one of the pyramids kept a secret for years in China is so large that the Great Pyramid of Giza seems like a miniature monument compared to this. The story of the Chinese pyramid began at the end of the Second World War when American pilot James Gossman was about to complete a resupply mission to the forces of the Chinese army. Suddenly, a fault in the aircraft engine forced him to return to the Assam base located in northern India for safety reasons and he decided to fly at a lower altitude. Shortly after flying over the city of Xi'an, heading southwest, the pilot encountered what looked like a gigantic pyramid. Surprised after making several passes over this humongous structure, he decided to take a number of photographs, which later included a detailed report, which were handed to his superiors as soon as he returned to base. The incident was forgotten among the files of the U.S. Air Force until 40 years later. The Great Pyramid of China was brought back to light through the work of Australian Brian, writer Brian Crowley, who published one of the photographs of the pyramid in his book. And as a result, it was known that this was not the first time pilots saw the humongous Chinese pyramid. One of the things that is surprising is that they have a similar orientation to the pyramids of Giza, Egypt. Giza here is on the left and the uh, province of China Qi, in Qi'an province is on the right. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now, I'll remind you again from the past videos concerning Alexander the Great, when he has already known, it was already known that he had entered um, India. It said that he had also gone to the ends of China. That's where his generals uh, made a column, a stile, saying that they had reached the ends of China at the Pacific Ocean and that uh, they buried his special uh, weapon given to him by the Atlanteans somewhere where it could not be found. He had supposedly been given the Rod of Zeus, which was some kind of a laser instrument. Now, uh, he also was said by his historians who kept records of his campaigns, journals of his campaigns, what he was doing every day, what was the outcome of his... Um, trials and uh, adventures that he also found very strange 
hybrid humans and uh, the ones he didn't do away with he buried he buried under pyramids both in India and in China he uh, made huge pits he threw them the these Nephilim uh, uh, humanoids these uh, what he called abominable races half man half animal and he covered the openings with copper and other metals and he built pyramids on them and there are at least 72 in China they're not to be opened they are not to be opened now I don't know what's happening with the pyramids in India but the uh, the ones in China of course I don't even know if the Chinese have opened them or not I don't know what's happening to the one the ones in China who knows if uh, what's going on with the ones in China but um, the fact is um, during March of 1947, when the war was already over, the New York Times published an article making reference to the sighting made by Colonel Morris Sheehan from his plane when he flew over a gigantic pyramid, described by Colonel Morris Sheehan as having approximate dimensions of 300 meters in height and 450 meters on each side. It's noteworthy to mention that these dimensions would make the Chinese pyramid the largest one ever discovered on earth, dwarfing the Great Pyramid of Giza with a mere 147 meters in height and 320 meters in width. Even more fascinating is the fact that the Great, great Pyramid of Egypt has around 52,900 square meters. The Great Pyramid of China exceeds the number with a staggering 202,000 square meters, so it's about four times as big. Now, over the years, numerous pilots claim to have observed gigantic pyramids in China, and there is a great amount of images taken by pilots and satellites which support the existence of mysterious structures in Asia. And in fact, I found one uh, just yesterday when I was looking at a, uh, was it a four magnitude earthquake in China? And I saw something very strange. Anyway, I'll make a video on that. Um, now, however, going back to this, however, inexplicably, the Chinese authorities have rejected the existence of such monuments. Well, even though we see them on Google Earth by satellite, so they are there. So, the Forbidden History of Ancient China, Aryan Mummies, Hundreds of Pyramids. In the early 20th century, explorers and trackers like German citizens Frederick Schroeder and Oskar Mammon have testified to the presence of not only one, but several pyramids located around the Chinese city of Xi'an. But the mystery behind the Pyramid of China is even more fascinating. According to reports, numerous European excursions managed to take samples of objects and metals around the pyramids of China. Analysis show that these structures could be well over 8,000 years old, but the most fascinating detail isn't the age of the pyramids, Interestingly, the metallic material present at the pyramids has not been identified so far since it is made out of materials that are unknown to modern science. Okay, these metals are unknown to modern science. Could they also have been what Alexander the Great used to close the Nephilim abominable races in these pits and then build the pyramids on top of them? So there was, there's a lot of questions to be answered concerning all these pyramids in China, some of them having orientations of what we see in Giza. In other words, the same kind of technology was used to align with Orion's belt and the star Sirius. And uh, obviously, since we know that uh, the pyramids in Giza were built around the time of before the sinking of Atlantis, could it be that these pyramids are at least, least 12,000 years old, even 20,000 years old? Who knows how old they are? So please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Now, as you can see, these trees seem to be very evenly cultured, spaced on this pyramid. This is one of the cutoff pyramids. As you can see, there's farmland around there and growth over them. But uh, this one here is a very, very beautifully cut off pyramid, as you can see. Some were cut off, some were not cut off. 
and growth over them so that they are kept to be looking as hills. And this is the Great White Pyramid.